And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Chow Yangsaurus, which was a request from Rory via our Patreon and Discord. And Rory was using allowance to request this dinosaur of the day, so thank you. Wow. Mm-hmm. Chow Yangsaurus was a basal ceratopsian that lived in the late Jurassic and what is now Liaoning Province, China, in the Tuchengzi Formation. And Chow Yangsaurus helped show that ceratopsians go back to the Jurassic before the earliest known ones were from the early Cretaceous. Chow Yangsaurus looked a bit like Cetacosaurus, but with a longer face. It was small, it walked on two legs, and it had quills on the tail. And of course it had that rostral bone, which gives it a parrot-like beak, and that's what makes it a ceratopsian. We talked about that in our Celebration of Ceratopsians episode, episode 450. The beak, it's all in the beak. Who to thunk it? Nothing to do with frills. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that it has something to do with frills, but yeah. Mm. Well, Chow Yangsaurus was estimated to be about 3.3 feet or one meter long and weigh about 13 pounds or six kilograms. It's quite a departure from the other dinosaurs we've talked about in this episode. Yes, and a departure from a lot of ceratopsians whose one horn can be about that big and that heavy. <laughs> well, it's an early one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Its skull was about five and a half inches or 14 centimeters long. It did have a couple of cheekbones. And it was herbivorous. It had tightly packed cheek teeth. Its lower jaw was similar to cetacosaurs, and it also had some similarities to heterodontosaurids. But it did have five specific unique features, which is why it got its own name, including the jugal bone on the cheek has a smooth surface on the boss. It's part of the family Chow Yang Soridae, which are some of the earliest known marginocephalians. That's a clade that includes Pachycephalosauria and Ceratopsia. And this family was more basal than Cetacosaurus and Neoceratopsians, and they include Chow Yang Saurus, Xuanhua Ceratops, Yinglong, Huanlian Ceratops, and Stenopelix. This family had small frills and sharp beaks. Going back to Chow Yangsaurus, the type species is Chow Yangsaurus young eye. The fossils were found in 1976 by Cheng Zhengwu near Chow Yang. The holotype is an adult, and it's a partial skeleton with a skull, and it includes the brain case, lower jaws, neck bones, right shoulder blade, and right upper arm. The dinosaur was mentioned in multiple places before being officially named, which means for a while it was a nomina nuda, a naked name because there are rules you have to follow with being officially named. Mm -hmm. The first time it was mentioned was in a guidebook to a museum exhibit, and it was written as Chow Yungasaurus. Yeah, okay. I thought there was a go in the middle of it, because I was thinking, I actually Googled this when I saw that you were doing Chow Yangsaurus, and I was like, is there a different dinosaur that's Chow Yangosaurus? Nope. But it just redirected me to Chow Yangsaurus, and I was like, okay, I guess I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just gone through a few iterations. Yeah. Because we started with Chow Yangosaurus, but then in 1983, Zhao Shijin mentioned Chow Yangosaurus. Okay, that's where it is. But didn't describe it, so that was a nomum nudum. It also got mentioned in a paper that wasn't published, and in 1992, it was in a book about Chinese dinosaurs where Dong spelled it as Chow Yangosaurus. But again, no formal description, so that still meant it was a nomum nudum. It definitely got in the zeitgeist after those books, though, because I've, I've heard people talking about Chow Yangasaurus and drawings and things of it mm -hmm. after that point. Yeah, and then it got officially named in 1999 when Zhao Shijin, Cheng Zhengwu, and Xu Xing described the dinosaur. And from that point on, it was just Chow Yangsaurus without the go in the middle. Yes. The genus name means Chow Yang lizard. The species name is in honor of paleontologist C.C. C. Young, the founder of Chinese vertebrate paleontology. Chow Yang saurus lived in an arid climate, and other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place included pterosaurs and small theropods. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 